So you've probably never tried longanisa like this at home, but once you do, this may become your new breakfast staple. Everyone online seems to continuously ask me to make pasta recipes. So today we're going to do something with some longanisa. So longanisa is like a great sausage with a lot of flavor, packs a lot of spices, some sugars, some garlic. It's really pungent and flavorful. That added to a classic tomato sauce, some sun-dried tomatoes with fettuccine. Perfect match in heaven. So everything that we're using today and all the ingredients that we have actually comes from Lander Superstore. Make sure you check it out if you haven't yet. You're gonna start with boiling water. Always season that with a lot of salt. We're gonna put our pasta right in there. So this is gonna cook for about eight to nine minutes. Let's start with the sauce, really simple. I've got my spicy sausage right here. Chop that up. A little bit of olive oil goes into my medium hot pan here. And we're gonna start slowly cooking that. What I'm trying to achieve here is something nice and almost crunchy. You have some burnt bits in there. You've got some just properly cooked bits in there just so you get all that texture before we add anything else to the pan. So we're gonna use about two tablespoons of minced red onions for this dish. You don't necessarily need a lot just because there already is so much flavor in that sausage. But the red onion will just give you that nice acid balance to the whole dish. Put that in with our half-cooked longanisa. So this is almost done. You'll see how now the case is really opened up and you have this beautifully kind of crumbly texture to the whole dish. So all we need now to wait for is those little crunchy, crusty bits to form. So depending on the longanisa you bought, you might not have to add some garlic. But since this is a spicy longanisa, I want to add just a bit more garlic to the whole dish. Throw that in with our mix. So that color is really coming out. You've got that blackened, burnt bits exactly where we want things to be. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a couple of my sun-dried tomatoes here. Just gonna slice that up nice and thinly. At this point, you can already give it a taste just to make sure it's on point. That's delicious. All right, that's good to go. We're gonna add in now our liquid. So basically, I have some crushed tomatoes. You can buy these in a can or you can make it yourself. So we're gonna reduce the heat and just let that bubble through until our pasta is done. Our sauce is pretty much done, pasta is good to go. Last little final touch. We're gonna add some sriracha just to the sauce, mix that in, put that all together, and that is good to go. So I'm gonna just put this to the side here. I've got my pasta, which is ready as well. I'm gonna add my sauce in. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab my pasta and just put that in there. No need to strain it, because that flavor from the water is really important and the starch that's in the water will also help thicken the sauce slightly. So when you're doing this, your pasta is actually not fully cooked yet. It's about three-fourths there. So that'll finish cooking in this pan with the sauce. While that's heating up, we're just gonna finish up. So I got some basil right here. Just thinly chop the basil. So some beautiful Parmesan cheese goes right in there. You'll probably realize that I have not added any salt to this yet, simply because the cheese is actually salty, the water we cooked the pasta in is salty, the longanisa already has some salt, so you actually don't have to add anything. Mix that all in and that should melt very quickly. Finally, finish it off with just a bit of butter, just for that inherent creaminess. And that looks so gorgeous and good already. And it's pretty much almost done. Throw in my sliced up basil, some black pepper, and that is pretty much good to go. And so this pasta is now done. And if you make this at home, trust me, you're gonna be so happy with it. Top that off with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, a little more cheese, pepper, and then finish off with just some basil pieces. Oh, it looks so good. I'm sure it's gonna be nice and spicy, but at the same time, have a lot of sweetness, some acid to it. Let's give it a try. Mm. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like that, make sure to check out all our other Landers videos and recipes that we've done with them. So we've done some top shots that are really cool. We're doing some more informational videos soon, just really talking about products, if they're good for you, if they're bad for you, where to get them. And yeah, so just a long, long year of content that we're developing with them. And as always, please make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.